What does your health have to do with your finances? And what does your finances have to do with the Trans-American Pyramid Scheme? Well, we're going to cover part eight today, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan with Essential Oils Me, and I have my friend Tanner Fergard. How are you? Great. How are you, Lance? I'm doing well. Good. So Tanner is in the financial services industry, and he gets a number of questions about stuff, and so do I with regards to helping people with their health and wellness. And one of the main claims is traditional network marketing companies or recruiting-based financial companies lead with the business opportunity, product sales depend on that opportunity, and ultimately sell an opportunity. And I would say that is correct, but when you work with an authentic network marketing company, they focus on product-based education and understanding the benefits of using them. And that's the case for the company I work with, um, but when it comes to the financial services industry, how would that relate to maybe what you're, you're doing? So what I always tell people is, because everyone always wants to know, especially if you're in the financial industry, they're like, well, what's the best product? That's like probably the one of the most <laughs> commonly asked questions that I ever yeah. get. And I always tell people, my opportunity is better than any product that I can ever offer. But if you don't have a product, then there is no opportunity, yeah. right? right? So it's it's kind of like that, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Mm. And um, so that's, that's really my analogy of it. Okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> and then um, for me, one thing I keep in mind is like for the company, would I use their products from a health and wellness standpoint, even if the business opportunity wasn't there? And so that's another test that people can run through, whether it's financial services or health and wellness, and be like, you know what? Yes, I would still save for my retirement in this vehicle, even if there wasn't a business opportunity, because it's going to help me be prepared yes. for life after whatever age. And same thing for me. It's like, yes, I use natural solutions for my health regardless of the business opportunity because it has enhanced my quality of life so much to the point where I also save money, become more proactive with my health, and am able to help and bless other people's lives too. Heck yeah, you know, like even just outside the business side, it's just being able to educate on what helps people. And yes. so that's very powerful. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's really, I mean, you you, you said it all. <laughs> right? I mean, there you there, go. there's not really much more I could add on to that. I mean, it's, it's, it simply is, if you are going to save, you might as well put it in the right vehicles that's going to be best suited for you and yep. your family. Yep, and whether that's a business opportunity or a product or service, yeah. working with somebody that you know, like, and trust, mm -hmm. and somebody who you know, will represent the company well, so you're getting a good image of that, making sure you understand the products and services being offered as well as the company. And, and those are kind of the three things I always encourage people to look at and not let one bad apple kind of ruin the whole bunch there, but let the good apple kind of influence positively. And then making sure we all have all the facts. So that means having the right information or accurate information, having all the information from all the sides and parties, and then making sure we interpret everything correctly. So when it comes to being hard sold, or whether it's a business opportunity in this context, it's important to, I think, just look at the bigger picture. And personally, for me, develop the skills on even how to handle this, so I can distinguish authentic companies from traditional and the hard sellers versus the soft sellers versus the relationship builders who want to get to know me and want to help me based on what my needs are and ask more questions than they do talk. Absolutely. I think that's going to be also key. So I have a number of like things I look for, whatever I'm looking for based on my health, finances, you know, relationships, all that stuff. So, but yeah, so that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to click the subscribe button so you can catch more video updates or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on. And let us know what your opinion is on this matter as well. Comment in the section below.